What is up guys? My name is Jack and this is The Jack. This is Victory's brand new V4 pedal amp. Now the Jack is formerly known as the V30 or the Countess, which is this amp I have over here. I used this all the time pre-pandemic. It was essentially designed in collaboration with Guthrie Govan. He needed an amp that was super clean on one channel, but had all the grit on the other channel, and that was easy and portable to fly with. In other words, putting it in an overhead carrier, which is what I did for a lot of my gigs pre-pandemic. It's essentially called the Jack because I think it's a bit of a jack of all trades. It's not named after me. <laughs> I'm definitely not one of them. But um, yeah, it's a two channel amp, which is basically, like I say, clean and overdrive. The cleans on this thing have tons of headroom and they take pedals very well. Um, and the overdrive is more of kind of like a modern rock edging on the heavier side of things. But this is basically a 180 watt amplifier. Now at four ohms, that basically means you could power a cab, say at eight ohms, and you get 90 watts, which is super loud. But that is not the only use for this. This can be used in many different scenarios. What is brilliant about it is that Victory have worked in collaboration with Two Notes, who, if you're not familiar with them, they are possibly one of the best, if not the best, cab sim designers out there right now. And on the back over here, I don't know whether we'll see it in the, the other cam, is that we have the cab sim out. Now, I had the honor of creating the six presets for this unit that should ship as stock. So over here, we can choose which preset we would like. There are six of them, like I mentioned, and these are my favorite Victory Dyne IRs. I've tried to keep them as varied as possible. So for use with clean tones, but also some of the overdrive sounds. Basically, if you wanted to, you could change them out yourself and create your own presets via the Torpedo remote and use, of course, your own cabs and whatnot in there. But it's just super handy that if you don't have access to that, then there are six very usable presets in here. Now, one thing I want to say, though, is that if you were to play live, this is where I think this is genius because you can essentially power a cab on stage, but you could send to the front of house from the cab sim out and essentially use a monitor and that would be all you need. That is your rig. You could, of course, put this on a pedal board and you've got a setup. Super easy, super portable, but it's also great for recording. And that's one thing which we'll maybe talk about later on. First, maybe I should just walk you through what is on the back then. So I don't know whether we'll see this in the, the close-up cam, but we have the guitar in over here. We have a series effects loop. Um, we have a line out, which is genius. We'll talk about this a little bit later on. I'm going to show you how you could use this with, say, something in the digital world, like the Neural DSP Quad Cortex. You can essentially bypass the cabs um, that are built into this if you wanted to and use your own cabs, but also you could use effects, things like that. Um, we have a foot switch if you want to, so that would control the reverb, but also the channel switching. And then, of course, we have the speaker out. What is really cool, though, is that there is a 9-volt adapter here. So you could pedal, uh, or I should say, you could power another pedal from this. So say you've got a favorite, you know, I don't know, reverb or an overdrive or even just a tuner, you can essentially use this to daisy chain and power that. There is a fan built in, which is probably super useful because these things can get hot. Um, and then it's powered by an IEC or a kettle plug, which is way better, I think, than some of the flimsy things that you get with certain units. But essentially, this is what it is. It's a two-channel amp. Um, great cleans. We basically have bass, middle, treble. There is also, by the way, a digital reverb built in, which is a fantastic addition. That is not on the amp which I have over here. Just makes life much, much easier. You have two separate gain controls and two separate master controls and a sim level. And then, of course, the six presets here. What I want to do today then, guys, is basically show you how I 
like my cabs within this. So I'm gonna walk you through the six presets that I created and we'll hear how they sound. And then what I'll do is show you how you could use it, like I said earlier, with something from the digital world, something like the quad cortex, and we're gonna add some effects and maybe change some cabs. So without further ado, guys, let's dig into some playing. Okay then guys, so two things I should point out first because you're probably wondering this already, but this is fully valve. We have four valves within here. I think it's an EC900 um, for one triode and then I forget the name of the other ones. I think it's like a CV4014 or something like that. But also the other thing I forgot to mention is that this has a USB out on it, which means you can connect direct to the laptop and that enables you, you know, to change out cabs within the two note software, the torpedo remote. But it also means that this unit has the capability of being updated as time goes by. So it's not just gonna be kind of left to, uh, to rot in a couple of years. I'm sure the guys at Victory and Two Notes are gonna make sure that that is constantly updated. But first, I just wanted to walk you through some of the cab presets which I made. So starting with number one, this is really designed for channel two. I've called this Let's Rock. It's a Victory um, 4x12 copper, I think it is, open back. Um, and I've mic'd it with like a 57 and a 121, classic combination. Um, you'll actually see this maybe up on screen at this point already, and that is to show you the torpedo remote and how that works. But essentially, I'm boosting a bit of the top end, I've boosted the mids, taken out a bit of the low end, and I've got a little bit of reverb on there. Let's check out how this sounds. So like I say, this is channel two, and it's cab or sim preset number one. Very, very typical rock sound. Um, maybe a little bit more gain than I'd usually use, but I guess this is what people might be after. Those mids really do scream, especially with some of the bending ideas. <laughs> plenty of gain and that's not even using all of it so there is more if you do want it. Why don't we move on then to sim preset number two. So this second preset is called Easy Clean and it's designed for channel one. It's essentially a 2x12 Duchess I think um, where I've got like a 57 on there and the condenser mic as well. In terms of what's going on with the EQ I've taken out a bit of low end. This has tons of low end in this amp. Um, and I've kept the mids at 12 o'clock really, boosted the top end and we've got a bit of reverb, not so much gain. So this is what this sounds like, just a classic kind of clean. <laughs> Maybe I could push it a little bit more if I turn up the gain over here for channel one. Mm -hmm. 
also get kind of into funky territory as well, so... Let's move on to sim preset number three. Okay, so this next preset is another clean one. I've called this Funk Strat. And essentially I'm on channel one again, and I'm just trying to get close to kind of the funkier Strat style sounds. Um, in terms of the EQ on the amp, I've left it kind of similar. I've taken away a bit of reverb as well, and there's a bit less being pushed there. But let's check out what this sounds like anyway. <laughs> Really, really nice, especially in that fourth position. Um, let's check out a bit more of it. Now, if I roll down the tone as well, you can get some of the kind of faux jazzy kind of things with a bit less harshness. Really, really nice, subtle, delicate, and versatile. Exactly what this amp is supposed to be named after, hence the jack. Now, let's move on then to preset number four. Okay, this next preset I have called Pushed Clean, and you could use this really with channel one or two. I'm gonna use it with channel one first. Essentially, again, it's a four by 12 Victory Copper amp, I think this time, mic with a condenser and a ribbon one, two, one as well. Um, and it's just for those, you know, kind of edge breakup sounds. Let's try with channel one first in terms of the EQ. It's very similar to before. Taking out a little bit of low end, this amp has tons of it, as I've mentioned already. Um, and I've just kind of pushed the amp a little bit more. Let's check out this. <laughs> that with the bridge pickup. Thank you. 
I try that with channel two, let's check out this now. <laughs> a little bit. with both really essentially um, I think maybe I prefer channel one them um, what I think we should do now is move on to preset number five okay so this next preset I've called it the heavy jack and this is actually using a cracking 2x12 cab, I think with a condenser and a 1 2 one again. It's essentially designed for channel two. I am not necessarily a high game player at all, um, but this seems to pair really well when you really crank this second channel. So let's give this a go. <laughs> sounds as well and um, there is a ton of gain on this already and you can have more if you want but yeah I just think that pairs really nicely with the Kraken caps in. Okay then guys let's move on to the final sim preset then. Okay this last preset then is basically a Victory Sheriff 4x12 I think it is and I'm using um, a 57 and a ribbon mic. I've called this one just channel 2 lead and this is probably my go-to kind of overall best lead sound I would say if we want to keep things kind of diverse um, depending on the gig of course you could use that previous one if you if you want more gain but essentially I'm, I'm using channel 2 I've basically turned down the gain a little bit boosted the mids, lows are still cut a little bit and the top end has just been boosted. Still using some reverb as well. Let's check out how this one sounds. <laughs> So really cool in a kind of lower gain context, but also if you did want to push that, I'm sure that would sound really, really meaty as well. 
Now then guys, what I want to do really is show you how you could use this in a different way. Currently for all of these, we have basically been going out of the cab sim, um, which is the XLR output um, from the two notes side of the unit. Now, what I want to do now really is show you how it could work with the line out. So we could bypass those cabs and use some from the Neural DSP Quad Cortex and maybe add things like reverb and delay. So what we should do is switch that over and then let's do some playing. Okay, so what I'm basically going to do now is I am taking the line out out of this unit and I'm running that into the quad cortex. Now you have the option of either enabling the cabs which are built in to the unit or you can bypass them and use your own. For this one, I'm gonna leave that same preset number six, I think it is, the lead sound, but I'm actually gonna use a reverb and a ping pong delay from the quad cortex. So it's basically the amp sound, the same cab, but including the digital effects from the quad. Let's check out this, I think it sounds gorgeous. <laughs> And then if I wanted to, I could go to the clean channel. Let's hear how that sounds. So this is the same cab again. Really beautiful ambient sound. That's not the only thing we can do. I think what we should do now is actually bypass the cabinet section. I'm going to load up an instance of one of the Neural DSP plugins um, and I'm going to use the cab from probably the Fort and Cali suite and some reverb and delay as well. And yeah, it just shows how you can kind of build like a hybrid setup. It's not just necessarily for the gigging side of things, although it does it all, it's one of them. So I'm gonna get that set up and then let's hear some tones. So now essentially what I have done is bypassed the two notes cab sim on um, the output and I am using the Fort and Cali suite as my cab sim. Um, and as well, I've added one of my favorite reverb and delays. One is from the archetype of Bassi and the other is actually from the Fortin itself. So let's check out what this sounds like first, the clean tone, and then we'll try out the dirty channel. <laughs> Now a bit of dirtiness. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So I'm sure you get the idea there. It's super, super versatile. The very last thing which I would like to point out, which I probably haven't mentioned all the way through this video, is that there is a headphone out on this as well, which if you just want to practice at home, that's absolutely perfect. I honestly do believe that it lives up to the name, the jack of all trades, um, and it's just been further enhanced by the fact that it's in this pedal format now. What did you guys think of the tones? Did you prefer certain cabs within the presets? Did you prefer using it as like a hybrid kind of setup? What are you interested in about it as well? You know, are you wanting to use this maybe live with a, an actual cab or would you prefer to use it in the studio? I'd love to know. So please do leave a comment, remember to like, subscribe, all those kind of things. My name is Jack Gardner. This is the Victory The Jack V4 Pedal Amp. Till next time, guys.